there's something that I gotta tell you. You're really not gonna like it. Your real name's Harry. Harry James Barber. And you changed your name because why? The FBI's looking for me to rob the bank in California. And? That's the biggest bank heist in U.S. history. Look it up. I'm gonna rip off the President of the United States. It doesn't get any bigger or better than that. Seemed like a good idea at the time. How much are we talking here? As much as 30 million. I'm in? Yeah, you're in. Can I hug you? <laughs> Check this out. You see that building? That's the bank. What the that for? We're gonna crush some grapes? That's a hot tub. What's a hot tub? Sorry, I shanked my drive. I'll shank you, you sherbet colored ass! If everybody does their job, we should be looking at Nixon's money within an hour. How are you gonna shut off the alarm? I'm working on it. I know how you can do it. Fire in the hole, do it. Hey, look at this! It remains. That's when it all started to go sideways. 456 boxes smashed open. They were obviously looking for something specific. He's a crook, and crooks don't know how to stop when they're ahead. Hey! You never told me your dad was a sheriff. Why this bank? Why these safe deposit boxes? The last time the Bureau assigned 100 agents was when John F. Kennedy was assassinated. John, Harry, Steve McQueen, I don't know what to call you anymore. Find me Steve McQueen. What's your name again? Steve McQueen. Hey there, here's today's daily fact. Now, Waterworld, the critically panned Kevin Costner action movie, couldn't manage to stick to a budget of 100 million, thanks to difficult sets and major demands allegedly made by both cast and crew. In fact, the set itself, built in the middle of the ocean, instead of on a soundstage, was so difficult that everyone involved had to jet ski to it. In the end, the movie cost a staggering 175 million to make. Hmm. Now, remember, click here below to subscribe, or over here for more great content.